Now, I feel like this subject's extremely below me right now. I mean, I've made ex harder, more different arguments against the state. I think I've contributed a good number with my three essays I'm doing in regards to stateless societies and going over them, and even going over micronations, actually, and how to end states, things of that nature. I feel like I did a lot, so th this seems like something that's way below me, but that kind of attitude is very prima donna, and I shouldn't take that attitude, no. I've spoken about how the term anarchism has been used to describe three things, the oligarchies, oligarchies, and basically illegalism, but I think that Part of the reason why they do that is because people look at terms based on their etymology. There's a bad habit of people just looking at the etymology of a word and not focusing on its actual definition. And another flaw I think that's the reason why anarchism is associated with these words is because it used to be used to describe um, negative aspects. For example, there's a quote of Plato that I should um, write down, put up a link of, where Plato actually said that um, he was talking about music and this temperament issue. The Pythagorean comma, I believe, uh, it's just about how notes and frequency should be arranged. And he actually says that what the other cultures do is what he describes as anarchy. Now, anarchy has been used way back in the days to note these horrible little things, these irregular, dysfunctional stuff. And truth be told, the fact that people bring up this in their arguments is the genetic fallacy. It's the genetic fallacy. And that's probably something that makes anarchism not even a subject that's under heavy argument, patience, but heavy ignorance. I mean, you look at people nowadays, and it's not that they're not well informed. It's just that they love using logical fallacies. They, the guy who wins the debates, the guy who you hear in burn contests, and then people think, well, he really burned that person, uses the most logical fallacies. And the genetic fallacy is what anarchism's been most... Uh, annihilated with because people either look at it through its etymology or what its origins were once um, and they jump to the genetic fallacy they think okay um, based on the etymology of a word and what its origins were it's this don't deny this and they look like idiots but they're usually the ones to get the most likes because nowadays it's the idiots who win. And I'm not going to use terms like retarded because even um, someone who is mentally retarded could understand this stuff better than these people. So again, I feel like I'm above this subject, but I figured I'd talk about it because I have no life.